My name is Thomas, and this is David, and we play in Angels and Airwaves. That's right. <laughs> we were just talking about that when you came in. Um, it's hard. We grew up uh, in punk rock bands, and, uh, and coming from where I came from, it's it's uh, it's interesting. Whenever you step in front of that many people, and most of them don't know who you are. It's a, it's, it's a very it's the most difficult job in the world because you got 45 minutes to portray your art and who you are and what it is about you that makes it sense for why you're there. And uh, some people get it, some people don't. Some people are captivated, some people are hot and tired. And, uh, and um, it's just a difficult job. But I think the show is fucking awesome. I think I'm gonna die right now because it's so hot. I couldn't imagine how hot these people are out in the audience. It's weird because you can come off the show, you can always think of what you could have done better and what you could, what you could have grabbed. I could have grabbed the right guitar. Okay. Yeah, if you would have the right guitar. I want a particular song, that would have, that would have helped. Yeah. Some of it. But the problem is, is when you're on stage, you can do nothing but be yourself and, and, uh, and give it everything you have. And, uh, and, but when we do that, we end up making people cry and hold each other and fall in love and world peace all at the same time. So there's a lot going on besides the band, like world peace is happening, you know? And finally beauty and love and perfectness. Is that a word, perfectness? How many perfection? Uh, you know what's weird is when I'm doing it, I don't, well I do kind of pay attention to the crowd, but I'm really, really thinking about what I have that I want to say. So I don't think too much about how they're taking it in. I just say it the way I feel like I need to say it. When it's finished, the crowd was singing. And it's hard to pay attention. This is a festival I've been looking forward to playing for many years. And then when you actually get out of there, it's quite a bit overwhelming, actually. Although I would look out at the crowd, it was hard to focus and visibly see any one person. Just because the whole thing was, it is just so overwhelming, you know, so. And then uh, there might have been some few bottles, so I was uh, a bit like Neo in the Matrix. You like staff. But you know what's weird is I've never once, ever, Except for once, actually there was one time in Italy where when people throw things at you, it's not really weird. Like growing up a punk rock band, they throw it because they can't spit at you. You can't spit, can't hit you, so they throw something at you. And to be honest, whether I like the band or not, if I had a bottle, I would wonder if I could hit the guy, you know? It's like a game, you know? So I've never thought that was weird. Um, except for one time when it was like cue balls and that was like dangerous, I was gonna die. But uh, it's just part of the gig. These people are hot, they have something, and then all the bottles are getting thrown are like done. They're done drinking, so like what am I gonna do with this? It's like a game, it's target practice.